Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol EARS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Had a lot of questions on this one today, rightfully so. Again, each of these represents 30 minutes. I bring that up because the first 30 minutes of the day, absolutely huge volume uh, and yet gave a gap and trap. So maybe you're newer to the markets and you've heard the term gap and trap and aren't quite sure what that is. Well, look no further. This is a gap and trap. Price gapped all the way up here. Ran a little bit, some poor souls bought right there, and then you know back down it went. So very rough day, but to be fair, the bulls still have a little bit. I'm I'm reserving a little judgment. Um, although if you force me into a corner, I would say the bears are back in full charge. However, like I said, to be fair, the bulls have a, a chance. Although I'll, I'll fully admit it, it's quite the slight chance. What is this chance? Why am I still willing to give the bulls a little bit of a chance? Because they do still have an opportunity to build a higher base and that higher base comes right here at the 93 cent mark. And the reason that is important is if the price does continue to do what it's been doing, you can see multiple times throughout the course of the day, the bears did try to press down through that 93 cent range, but the bulls did a good job of holding. And the reason that is important is if the price does continue to, to bounce and stays essentially out of the range, because the previous range, the top of that range was 93 cents, which you can see right there. So if it continues to bounce on top of that range and then eventually heads back up, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here, the previous set of lows would be down there. And from a big picture perspective, well, hey, now you have lows getting higher and higher. Now I should note that if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 7.2 seconds, then you could care less about any of this. So I'm definitely talking about things from a bigger picture perspective, uh, but 93 cents without question is the no excuse level of support. If it falls back below there, then that literally puts the price right back to where it all started. And I think everybody can agree, movements with true power don't go back to where they started. They continue to progress forward. And if the price can stay above 93 cents, that would constitute progressing forward. And you know, big picture perspective, you know, it would still you know, allow a potential long-term uptrend to be built now. I would say that the bears pretty much owned the day and took the chart back, but you gotta be fair and you gotta, you know, at least acknowledge that the bulls still could, you know, build on top of that previous range and start some stair steps in the upward direction. So we'll just have to sit back and see what happens. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, and by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.